getting back out there seemingly full speed? What's it been like for you? Uh, it's been fine just coming back out, being able to practice, you know, just being back with the team and stuff like that. So it's it just, you know, being around my brothers and being able to, like, help on and off the field better. Commissioner Bell is sitting ready to do an upper body work because you had a lower body injury. I mean, what, what, what was your offseason like as far as just getting prepared? Oh, uh, yeah, that, so w w we attacked my upper body pretty uh, heavy due to the uh, injury and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, you still, I still have parts where I did lower body stuff as well. So it, I, I was still working full body. I was just attacking upper body mainly. Chris Norvell has said you're a guy who can play anywhere on the offensive line. What do you credit that versatility to? Uh, just being athletic, my athletic abil ability and also just, you know, being able to be smart inside the trenches. Because playing offensive line, you have to be able to, like, know everything, see everything. So it's just, you know, just being able to move from the left side all the way to the right side. It's, it's just a big accomplishment. How much film work does that take to be able to learn? Oh, a lot. It takes a lot. Like, you, like, you got to watch film to, to be able to learn. And, you know, just, yeah, it takes a lot of film. Well, I, I love playing all all of them because, one, playing O-line, O-line and D-line, you hit the most on the field, and I love hitting. So it's like, you know, I just been able to create more opportunities to be on the field and also just show that I can be accessible to the team as, as needed. Uh, you know, um, over the past years, it kind of weight been up and down, up and down. But just keeping my weight that's sticking, it just uh, it gives me a, a better opportunity to do what I need to do inside the trenches. Uh, both. It was uh, diet and strength training. Uh, I had to eat, eat more calories, drink more protein yeah, shakes. So just, also, I mean, to group, keep from just getting together, fat uh, weight, so I have to you know, work out eight, harder. You know, so so it's, it, working out harder, you have to uh, uh, intake more calories and stuff like that. Uh, so, <laughs> in high school, my first and sophomore year in high school, I, I played defense a lot. And then um, my junior year, I switched over to uh, offensive line my first time ever playing it. And, you know, uh, I just played tackle. And soon, getting here, I knew playing tackle was, wasn't going to be, like, the main goal. But uh, over the three past three years, I've been here going to my fourth. I've been able to play all, like, both tackle positions and do fairly well at them. But moving inside, it kind of just gives me a whole different perspective. So this idea of what the guys in the inside, the bar, the center's got to go through it. Just, uh, it gives me a better outtake of how to approach the game. When you play defense, it's a line of high school. I'm a guy who... I support, like, help you know, you what I'm different offensive you know line positions or whatever. Like, did that help? And I, I'm not uh, sure that you understand that. So, I say at high school, when you play at high school ball, it's kind of like just, like you tell, you, tell them what to do, and, like, they go and do it, and you give all your effort. But moving, shifting over from uh, defense to offense, I saw the aggression take over, but playing O-line, you can't be as aggressive like you, because if you play too aggressive, you're going to lean off the ball, you're going to swim, you're going to rip, or you're going to be all over the place. So it was just uh, seeing how, what, that what different guy. roles each position uh, like has to be able to do. It, it was just a big difference for me. I think a lot of people here, oh, he has to put on weight. He's so lucky, but that obviously can be a, a big challenge. Can you speak to the, the challenge that, that can be at times? We in Tallahassee, Florida. It's hot here every day. So, you know, it's like you got to, the amount of, like I said, the amount of calories and like just, my water intake too hot. Hydration is probably one of the biggest things that uh, has to deal with uh, the weight and stuff. Cause you you make it eat a lot of food, but when you come out here, you sweat. Like we we work, so it's like we gonna sweat. And if you ain't putting no putting that water back in your body, it's like you, you, you drop weight. So that's that's one thing. Is just make sure I keep up with my hydration. And our nutrition stuff is doing doing.
doing a great job with uh, helping us do that. So. I mean, I feel like we got to hold on. We got ways to go. different types of ways you have to get to blocks you have to do certain things and pass sets all that stuff so it's like you gotta watch film and just make sure you transition from playing tackles to center or guard or somewhere like you gotta make sure like you're fixing all those uh, little details. I gotta say my guy Jalen Positions, but I have to switch my stance up, and that can kind of be difficult. 